And then, you know, you know we, like I said, we're not really going into details in this, but that, that kingdom, the way to understand it is the king, the king. You can't have a kingdom without a king. And you know, this is an oriental concept. And in the oriental world, the king is everything. You know, an oriental king, he has power of life and death. You know, he can dismiss. That's why Esther, when they said Esther, go to the king, say, eh, I cannot, even though I'm the wife, oh, say, I, ca I cannot go there. Oh, because if I appear there and he doesn't extend that his uh, scepter, uh -uh, that is death. That is death. And so when they say, thy kingdom come, you see, you are thinking about a king and his subjects, where his authority is absolute over their lives. And so when Jesus said, invite the kingdom into your life and in your world, so that you will have a king that rules over your life. That's why sometimes when we lead uh, people to give their lives to Christ, one of the things I say to them is, Tell him, say, Lord, I have set up a throne in my heart. Come and sit on the throne of my life and rule over who? Me. Come and rule over me. I invite you to come and rule. It's voluntary. Say, so when you pray, invite the kingdom, invite the king to rule over you. And at the moment the king is ruling over you, then the next follows. Thy will be done on earth as it is what? In heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, in the second service, we're going to look at the will revealed and the will unrevealed. Because there are two sides to it. You know? And that's why when we come to the will revealed, there is no question because the will is already revealed yes and then there is the will unrevealed now now thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven our lord jesus christ lived this way as you know get semini get semani you know you go to get semini that's why i the first time i went to israel um, I went. I went with a tour guide. You know, this is a commercial tour guide. When we got to Gethsemane, he said. He said to us, "This is Gethsemane." You know, five minutes later, he said, "Oh, let us go. Let us go. Let us go. We have other places to." I said, "Ah, uh -uh. a Christian will come to Gethsemane, and hurry." Ah, uh ah. -uh. I said, "No, I have to come to this place by myself." Because Gethsemane, to the Christian, that's everything. That's where the salvation was bought, fought for, and won. Because Jesus said in that prayer in Gethsemane, Abba, Father, according to the Luke version, all things are what? Possible unto you. Take this cup from me. Take this cup from me.